I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on geometric sequence. The question here is find x if x minus 3, x plus 1 and 4x minus 2 are in geometric sequence. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now when three terms are in geometric sequence it means what? It means they have constant ratio, correct? That is what it means. So based on this, we can actually solve the question. So let's say that the ratio is R, constant ratio. This constant ratio is basically between the consecutive terms. That is, if we are given three terms, you could divide x plus 1 by the previous term, which is x minus 3. So that is ratio R. Similarly, you could divide 4x minus 2 by its previous term which is x plus 1 and all these ratios are equal let us say they are equal to r so that is the very basic definition which helps you to solve this particular question and now I think it is simple you can pause the video answer and then check with my solution we can cross multiply solve for x we'll get a quadratic equation so we have x plus 1 times x plus 1 equals to 4x minus 2 times x minus 3. So here this is like square of x plus 1. You could write this as x square plus 2x plus 1 equals to, let me multiply this time, apply distributive property. That is to say, I'll multiply both the terms with 4x first and then with minus 2. That will give me 4x square minus 12x minus 2x plus 6. Now bring all the terms together. So we could do 0 equals to 4x square minus 12 minus 2 can be combined written as minus 4x plus 6 take away x square take away 2x and take away 1. So that gives us 0 equals to 4x square take away x square is 3x square minus 14 minus 1 means minus uh, I mean minus 14 and minus 2 is minus 16 X plus 6 minus 1 is plus 5 now we are looking for product of two numbers to factor whose product should be how much 5 times 3 which is 15 and their sum should be equal to minus 16 well the two numbers are both negative since product is positive minus 15 and minus 1 so we'll split minus 16 and write this as combination of those two so we get 3x square minus 15x minus x plus 5 that gives us 0 equals to 3x is common and uh, we get x minus 5 here minus is common x minus 5 we have to get the same term and then 0 equals to x minus 5 times 3x minus 1 so that gives you two solutions correct so either one could be 0 so that gives us two solutions the solutions are let's write down so it could be x minus 5 equals to 0 which will give us x equals to 5 and the second solution is this is one solution the second one is 3x minus 1 equals to 0 3x equals to 1 x equals to 1 over 3 correct so our answer is x is equals to 5 or it is equals to 1 over 3 correct? that is how it can be solved so I hope that helps you to understand the concept uh, thanks for watching feel free to write your comments and if you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.